Hey, Moana, this is Brandon uh, sending over that free video uh, with a couple of tips and tricks in here, hopefully, that uh, you can use to better increase your online presence and, and rank better with Google. Um, you're probably asking, why do I do this for free? Well, the fact of the matter is, is I know, you know, small business owners are usually wrapped up, you know, in their business. They don't have, you know, time to take care of things like this. Uh, so these free tips and tricks um, are things you can hopefully do on your own. Um, Obviously, there's a lot more that goes into, you know, all of this stuff. But um, if you do find at the end of this that, you know, that Brandon guy sounds like he maybe knows what he's talking about and you don't want to deal with this kind of stuff, that's kind of why I do this. Uh, just gets my name out there as well. So the three things that I go over, Moana, are first thing is uh, web content and uh, keywords. Second thing is citations. And the third thing is backlinks and referring domains. Um, I look at these things because this is the same thing that Google looks at. Uh, you know, in conjunction with how they rank you and where they put you on the on the listing. So, if you look at your website here, um, not a bad looking website. Google's going to want to see at least fifteen hundred uh, words of content on here. So, just by adding some more relevant content to your industry and what it is that you do is going to help uh, with your ranking on Google. So, just a bit more content on here, um, and then inside that content, one you're going to want to have keywords, keywords uh, like you know, wedding photography, Milwaukee or Milwaukee, you know, you know photography, uh, those keywords that really narrow it down to what you're doing. So when people type into Google, um, things that they're looking for that have to do with your business, um, Google points them to your website. So all those keywords inside of those 1500, you know, content uh, words, 1500 is a minimum. So anything you can do more than that is great. So uh, first tip is uh, content and keywords. So second thing we want to talk about is citations. And if I do a wedding photography is Milwaukee search in Google, you'll see these three businesses come up inside of this map pack. And how do you get there? Obviously, everybody wants to be there. We want to be number one on Google inside the map pack because we live in a world where we don't want to go to the fourth page to find what we're looking for. We want to have it you know, right at the tips of our fingers. So um, a citation is nothing more than your business name, address, phone number listed just like it is in, on the Google Maps. But we want it plastered all over the web. So we want it on blogs, on social media, the Facebooks, the LinkedIn's, any blog you can be on, any other website, uh, you know, Yelp, Angie's List, uh, things like that. So get your website out there and list it in as many spots as possible. Shout from the rooftops, let everybody know that. You know, you have a, a photography business. So the more times you do that, the more citations you're going to have, um, the faster you're going to move up into this map pack. So hopefully that makes sense. And then the last thing I talk about is backlinks and referring domains. So to do that, I use a, a tool called Ahrefs. It's, uh, it's a site with all this information, and it costs about 500 bucks a month to use this tool. Um, but it's necessary for what we do. So if we look at this, you got 174 backlinks. Well, what's a backlink? Um, a backlink is any time on your or on anybody else's website or platform, if there's a link on there that somebody clicks on and it reverts them back to your website, well, that's a backlink. So you want to have as many backlinks out there as possible, um, but you want to make sure that you have the backlinks in relative areas. So when I say that backlinks are not all created equal, you're not going to want to have backlinks on like McDonald's and Taco Bell uh, websites. You're going to want to have them on something to do with photography, whether it's um, you know, other people's photography websites, or if it's, uh, you know, cameras that you use or the type of film, anything to do with your industry is going to be relevant in Google's eyes. Um, and that's going to help you with the power ratings over here and, and how they do things. So uh, the other thing that it shows is your keywords. So we want to make sure we stuff as many good keywords in there uh, relevant to what you're doing. And then ultimately, this shows you how many organic um, people are visiting your website per month. So here you got six people that visit uh, visited your website in the past month. Um, so obviously there's some some room for growth there. Um, if we go back to this wedding photographer's Milwaukee search, um, I actually took the number one person up here, this Heather Cook Elliott photography, and I put her in A refs just to see where she was at. You can see she's got you know almost 2,000 backlinks, 500 referring domains, a lot of keywords, and then ultimately she's bringing in 100 people to her website a month. So you know you can imagine if you brought in an extra 100 people you know, to your website and can, can just turn five of those into, you know, you know next your next five clients, um, that would probably do a significant thing for your bottom line at the end of the day. And obviously that's why we're all in business is to make money, have a good time and, um, and do those types of things. So hopefully uh, you took a couple of tips and tricks out of this video. Um, if you, uh, you know, 
can apply them, that's great. If you don't want to deal with it, that's again why I'm here. So I'm going to send this over via an email. Um, I just ask that you reach back out uh, with any kind of uh, constructive criticism or if it was useful or absolutely useless, uh, you're not going to hurt my feelings. Uh, but either way, just reach back out. Let me know what you thought. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Have a good rest of the day.